This video is going to provide students with a background on the Web Design Playground website that is the companion website to our textbook. First off, you can access the website by going to webdesignplayground.io. Now, before beginning and diving into the overall interface, students are strongly encouraged that when they first come to the website, there are two links here the Take the Tour and Learn How the Playground Works. Students will have direct links to these in the Blackboard, but you are strongly encouraged to take a look at these. Now, as far as the interface for Web Design Playground is concerned, you have three separate areas. First off, you have the area that you can write HTML in. Notice you have a hamburger icon here where you can both copy to clipboard and display any errors that you might have as you're writing your code. This is a little different from working in an IDE that is on the local computer due to the fact that we don't have to worry about actually putting out the HTML structure. The Web Design Playground does that for you. Additionally, you have a second section. This is specifically for your cascading style sheets and your cascading style sheet declarations here. Once again, you do have the hamburger icon up in the corner where you can display errors or copy the CSS to a clipboard. This is, these two options are great that, for instance, if you are working in an IDE such as Atom, Sublime, etc., you can copy the specific code and then just paste it into a document locally. Finally, you have this third area down at the bottom here that right now is blank. This is a display area. If I were to come up to the right-hand corner and click on Run Code, you can see here that I can sample what my website has. So if I wanted to go one step further here, I could come into the HTML, I could add a paragraph tag and say, this is more HTML in a paragraph. I could even add a little bit more and we could add a horizontal rule here. And once I've done that, I can run the code again and you can see the output here. One nice thing about the Web Design Playground website is this is a great place that you can test code and not worry about breaking your projects. Other areas of the website include, down at the bottom here, in the lower right-hand corner, is you can hide the editor itself and only look at the preview instead, if you wanted to have more space to actually view your web page. Additionally, if you need to start over or you want to just start with a blank sandbox, you can hit New Sandbox and it'll actually give you the entire space of the overall working environment. At this point, I would like to remind folks that this is a rarity that we would actually work in a web browser as far as developing web pages. This is a great option that if you are either working remotely or you are working on something like a Chromebook that you can't actually install software packages. However, in industry, you really are going to be working in some sort of IDE local on your machine. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and also show you up in the upper right hand corner, probably the main area that you want to be aware of is this menu section. When you click on this, you are going to get a lot of elements that come up, including the, the book lessons that are specific to each of the sections, which some of your homework activities and weekly activities associate with. To demonstrate, if you click on Lesson 1-1, You'll have the walkthroughs here, and you can work through each of the pages as far as helping you get comfortable with HTML. So let's say that you have finished a project here. Another thing that if I go back to the menu, another thing that you can do is you can actually download the code that you have been working with. So for instance here, if I go ahead and download code, notice it makes a zip folder for me. I'm gonna go ahead and show in folder and I'm gonna right click on this folder and extract all. For those of you on a Mac, you'll just have to double click and it will extract out the folder for you. And what you can see here now is it made you that index.html document in a styles cascading style sheet. We could now, if we wanted to, we could come back and let's say I rename the folder. So maybe I do right click rename and let's call this LA1 for learning activity one. I can now go I'll cut, and if you recall from previous videos, we had our CIT125 folder, where now I could paste that activity in there. From here, I could actually jump over into Atom, and I could right click, and I could add a project folder, 
and I can select my folder. And now any of the edits and alterations that I made directly on the web design playground site are now reflected here as far as both the styles, in this case I didn't have any, but also the index document has already been started for you. So that's the brief overview as far as working inside of the Web Design Playground website. I find that a lot of students really like having this web-based option that you can test drive code without actually breaking your projects. And then you can copy and paste and implement it into the final project or the final activity or website that you are working on. I hope this overview helps as far as getting you familiarized with the Web Design Playground website.